Well, the safety program here at Island Lake, you know, it's, it's kind of our top priority. You know, safety is, uh, is always in the forefront of our, our thinking when we're uh, planning our day. First and foremost, you know, we have a, a fantastic crew here. The guides here at Island Lake are all uh, members of the Association of Canadian Mountain Guides, and uh, it's a strong team, a real depth of experience with the staff and uh, that makes a big difference. We have uh, extensive meetings morning and evening and uh, you know we, we take a, a great deal of time planning out our, our day. We look at all kinds of information you know all our snowpack information. The weather forecasts we look at uh, all the avalanche activity. We're a part of the uh, information exchange with pretty much anybody in the industry that's doing avalanche work in Western Canada. So there's a real depth of, uh, of information there that uh, we can use. Well at the beginning of every tour you know we put our guests through a fairly extensive uh, training program. Uh, we give a thorough backcountry safety briefing. Uh, we talk a lot about the transceivers. In the unlikely event that somebody is involved in an avalanche, uh, the transceiver is going to be the best means to locate somebody. These transceivers uh, work in a way like a radio. They have the ability to transmit a signal and they have the ability to receive a signal. And all the modern transceivers operate on the same frequency and are compatible with one another. Transceiver is a great piece of technology. It gets us close. If somebody's buried under the snow, we need to make contact with them, so we need some other equipment. In these packs, we've got a probe, comes in the orange pouch here. We've also got a shovel in here, the uh, blade and a handle. Slide the handle into the blade here. There's a little button to push down, locks it into place. I got a shovel for shoveling. And we're going to use that to uh, dig. Uh, then we head outside and we do uh, a lot of drills, avalanche, rescue, practice drills. Uh, make sure everybody's thoroughly aware of the function of the transceiver uh, and how to organize a rescue in the unlikely event that we needed to do so. Okay, so I've got a shovel in here to mark my lowest signal. When I'm probing here, I want to make contact. And I'm feeling for depth and I'm feeling for resistance. I want to be very systematic with my probing. I want to know where I probed and where I haven't. So I get my lowest signal, I go probe down like so, bring the probe out, go about 20 centimeters over, probe down, probe out. I'm going to go in the systematic, ever increasing spiral. Oh, all right, see that? I was going deep, going deep, going deep but shallower and I've got something that's sort of squishy, okay? The ground's gonna feel a bit sticky, rock's gonna feel a bit tingy, branches will move a little bit, but a person's gonna feel a bit squishy. When I get a strike there, I wanna leave the probe. If I'm about a meter down with my probe, I'm gonna start about a meter back. And uh, the person in the front's gonna chop up the snow and move it back. Everybody else here is just gonna act like a conveyor belt. It's like we're paddling a canoe and we're just going to keep moving the snow away. The person at the front is going to work as fast and as hard as they can, but short shifts. Um, this is part of our safety program going on right here. Uh, some uh, helicopter bombing. As you can see, we can uh, ski these beautiful gladed runs over here that aren't threatened by the big avalanche paths in the lizard range until we have them uh, well controlled. So it gives us a lot of options in uh, stormy conditions. Guys really know their stuff and you, know, you feel safe and you feel comfortable. And if you pay attention and listen to what the guide says, you're gonna have a great experience.